everyone. A uh, few good news just to start. First, that's the last talk, so in 20 minutes we will have the party. Uh, for me, that's a very big moment, very important, because that's the only moment I had to work since four days. <laughs> so, wow! Uh, I don't know if I remember how to do it. Well, we are. I, I'm not comfortable to, uh, to speak about luxury travel and uh, a few things like this. I prefer to talk about hospitality because we are passionate of our job, but we are passionate uh, about this kind of uh, welcoming guests. And in fact, uh, I was not an hotelier, as uh, Daniel told you. And I, I became an hotelier because I was pissed off with hoteliers. Uh, no, I, I'm so sorry because I am one, I can tell it, but sincerely, uh, we are in an hospitality business and, okay, you have to book an hotel somewhere in a city, wherever you want, okay, uh, in London, a few thousand of hotels in the city, you're on the internet, and you choose one hotel. Of course, you have to pay in advance. You don't know them, but you pay in advance. And when you arrive at the hotel, how can you thank, as an hotelier, the, the person who, who decided to come and to spend uh, uh, his money in your hotel? Can I have your visa card, please? No, because I know you spend already a few thousand of euros or dollars, but maybe you will leave after the checkout uh, without telling us you, you, you drank two bottles of water or Four euros, and and that's the best way to thank someone to, uh, to to choose your hotel instead of another one. So, the real question is, what is hospitality? What does that mean? For um, for everyone, on my opinion, um, how could I tell it? Hey, add this. <laughs> now that's my. Um, the question since the beginning I opened Darlam and, and, and the other hotels was, what is our, our job, really? Uh, is it to, to sell rooms? I think um, industrial can do it better than us. And it's not about uh, creating experiences, because now, you know, when I opened Darlam the first time, uh, I heard, oh, you, you, you open a boutique hotel. And I discovered that a uh, boutique hotel was a generic term for uh, hotels until maybe 100 or 150 rooms in, in some countries. So say, wow. And I, I have the feeling that experiences now uh, will be the same. Uh, you will have an amazing experience. No, I just order a drink. OK, we are in a bar, and I just order a drink. Uh, well, that, uh, that will be an experience. And, in fact, the, the point is, when you are an atelier, when you welcome your guests, you have to, um, to create some special moments for them. That's some very simple one, a breakfast, uh, a lunch, uh, an activity, uh, okay, a trek, or whatever you want. Um, and this moment must become the most memorable souvenir for them. So that means we have nothing in our hands, and it must become unbelievable and forgettable memories for them. Because when you work very hard all year long, the only one week of vacation you, you spend with your family, your lovers, the people you love, that must be unique. And instead of that, when you have four kids, as uh, I am, uh, you arrive in a hotel with your kids, now you're not welcome. You're not welcome because around the swimming pool, of course, of course, they jump in the water, sorry. Uh, and two hours uh, on a, uh, around the table in the restaurant, for sure, for this wonderful and sympathetic couple just near you, it's a little bit too noisy. But what can we do? We can kill the, the kids and... To <laughs> no, that's, no, no, that's not a good idea. Uh, we, we, we need to find a uh, solution. So uh, in my hotels, you're, uh, you're alone. There is no other guest. That's uh, easier. Uh, but the point is... Definitely, when, um, when we have this, this point in, uh, in your head, in your mind, in fact, the answer is very simple. It, it, you have to um, give back to locals, kids of your guests. 
you have to be just the, the, the connection, the bridge, what, uh, what you want uh, in front of them, uh, just to tell them, we will prepare fantastic moments, but that's not ours. Uh, I'm French, you know. All the pictures you, you, you saw on the screen was last year. With the Wandering Hotel, we were in Italy, we were in Cambodia, we were in Brazil. I just arrived from Brazil uh, a few years, just for you, uh, a few days ago. And all these scenarios was around the world for the last 12 months. So, um, we did it just with locals. But the problem is when you, you think about to give all these opportunities where to, to work with locals and to create scenarios and around their cultures that they don't understand really well at the beginning. Uh, I was in for a few months in a, in a village in Santo Amaro, in Lensois, and um, there is maybe five restaurants. Gabriela was with me one day in a restaurant, and well, we had one burger for pizzeria, and uh, one local uh, traditional restaurant, which means fried uh, fish, fried meat, fried uh, vegetables. And look, after six months, no, no. I, when I arrived, I was skinny like this, and or maybe not. Um, in fact, guests, I, I'm completely convinced that guests today want to live simple moments with people they love, okay? Um, but also, to come back, you know when we were backpackers, we were connected with locals. Okay, we didn't have any comfort because we didn't have any money. But we were connected. So they want today to, to be reconnected in this kind of uh, trips, but with... No, push. We want just to have the same feeling as we were backpacker, but with comfort. Have you seen the, the beds uh, near the lagoon? That was comfortable. And also storytelling. And definitely, who can um, give you storytelling in a place that the locals? So, when you work with locals, if you want to, to do that uh, in your hotels, you have to think about size of um, your project, because if you have a big hotel, you will ask them to manage people, and they don't know how to do it. And you start to be in kind of a pyramid of failures. So you have to think about few houses. All the projects we had with the Rondoing Hotel was in between three and five, six rooms maximum. Because when you have just three rooms somewhere, it's easy to cook for one family, six persons. That's the same in my house. So I'm, uh, I'm a young woman in a village, but I, I know how to cook for five people. Uh, to, to cook for 50 people? I don't know. And that becomes difficult. So you have to, uh, to think about, instead of having 20 rooms, it's easier and, and more profitable, I can swear. I can show you numbers if you want one day. But it's more profitable to have five houses with three or four rooms instead of one big hotel of 20 rooms. It's more profitable. It's uh, easier to deliver, to operate day by day uh, with your team. Your team starts to, uh, to, to feel confident. Uh, they, they, they will be uh, in, a, in the good way to, to, to follow you. And that's what your guests will ask for. That will be just something exclusive for them. So everyone is happy. So small is one of the key to, to work with, uh, with locals. I, I started with Darlam and I realized that it was difficult. And for 14 rooms, we are 102 persons because of that. So since that point, I decided to have just three rooms, four rooms, five rooms, and it works very well. Um, simplicity in that case means also when you have only three rooms, you can work with local suppliers. When you have 20, uh, 20 rooms, you need to have a professional in another city bringing you frozen fish for, for, for all your, your meals. Because the fishermen who arrive in front of you uh, at your door say, hey, I catch one fish. Can, uh, can you buy it, please? Uh, 
Well, there are 40 behind me. <laughs> that will be a great party tonight. And uh, no, you can't buy it. But if you have just three rooms, of course you can buy his fish. So he can feed his kids. He's happy. You buy uh, a fish less expensive, cheaper. So that's good for you. And because it's less expensive, you can add some tips for the guy. You, you can pay more than uh, what he asked. So he wins, he earns more money, you pay less, and your guests have an amazing fresh fish with better quality than the one frozen arriving by, uh, by truck. So it, it works. It works very well. Uh, and if you, um, if you share uh, this kind of uh, simplicity with locals, with storytelling, you can add and scenarios. That's a bingo. And that's what my guests are following me around the world every six months. And uh, instead of trying to convince new guests, it's easier to, uh, to have the same uh, all year long. But when you're like this, you have a problem with training. You have a problem. That's a big deal. How to train people uh, imagine you arrive on a lake in Cambodia, you have floating houses and families living there. Some of them never been uh, just in uh, Siem Reap, one hour from there. So they, they, they lived on their floating house and you arrive and you say, okay, so today we will start with how to clean a bathroom. A bathroom. Yes, a bathroom. They don't have any bathroom. So you say, maybe it's difficult for the beginning. We will start with uh, the bedroom. A bed. OK. Uh, can we have another guide to translate? Because I think we will have a problem. Maybe it's a table for a setup, you know, for, for dinner. And there is no table. So um, the first thing, uh, we, we, uh, we uh, teach them to, uh, to uh, clean their hands, you know, with some soap. Uh, before cooking, uh, and they used to, to live and to work on the floor. And we were very proud because we had an amazing, beautiful table in the kitchen. Uh, and they were on the floor. I said, no, 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 you, can, you have to work here. Ah, OK, OK, OK. So they started to, to wash their hands, and they jumped on the table. Uh, that's training. I uh, say, OK, in that case, you will have to wash also your feet. <laughs> Sorry about that. But that's every day. Every single day, you have this kind of thing. So we, we must change the way of, uh, of training people, because that's stupid. International standards are completely stupid. Yeah. I was in an international hotel, so no one from uh, the audience. Uh, you can breathe. And I arrived at midnight, I had to, to leave at 6, and uh, it was uh, the, the night keeper at the front desk. And I um, asked for my room. I say, yes, sir, good evening. Do you want something to drink? Uh, no, no, thank you, it's perfect. Uh, it's midnight, I would like to go to sleep. I say, OK, sir, what do you want to drink? No, 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 I don't want to drink. And he had something to say, look, because we have a welcome drink menu. I say, yes, but I don't want any drink. Yet. Which kind of drink do you want of our welcoming menu? And so I, I understood, see, if I didn't accept a drink, uh, I, I won't have my, uh, my room. So it, it took 45 minutes. I arrived in my room. Uh, and, of course, no luggage. No luggage because they, they just were waiting for their tips. So if I'm not in the room, no tips. So we, we had uh, to wait the luggage uh, 10 more minutes. And one was missing, so 10 more minutes. And during that time, you know, the, the time you don't want to go to the toilets because maybe they will ring exactly <laughs> at that moment. So, so. And with the welcome drink, uh, yeah, imagine. Well, uh, I look at the room, and in that room, I swear I have the pictures, there was 14 different letters to welcome me. For everything, for the water, for the uh, housekeeper. It was fantastic. I, I was welcome, very welcome. So I say, uh, <laughs> and around the remote control, uh, <laughs> there was a few words 
telling me, because we, we, we take care of your health, we clean the remote control. Et là, hey, seriously. No, no, no. I call my, my team in Morocco and I immediately ask them, please, tell to the chef to go in the, uh, in the garden to, to talk with guests, to tell them, hey, you know what, the vegetables tonight, we clean them. <laughs> we wash everything. Woo! There are, you know, when you fall in love, do you need any marketing department behind you just to tell you, maybe you could buy some flowers? No? And that's what we do. That's really what we do. And that's a pity because when you fall in love, you don't need anything, just it comes from here. And the difference in, uh, in between locals and other people are they are working with their heart. And uh, heart is here, not over there. <laughs> well. um, so, what we have to do with them is just to open their heart and also their eyes, because they don't understand what is a guest and what this guest can expect. So, for example, I was in, in Lensois so for six months, and uh, we had a house, and we used to have a scenery for dinner like this. And we had to cross the, the, part, of the uh, part of the garden, and every, every single evening I was like, wow, but not tonight because there is no, no stars, but amazing stars everywhere. It was fantastic. And one young guy working with us say, I don't understand why every day you say, wow. And I told him, but because I live in a city, and in a city, yeah, I can't see stars. And he became completely upset because he looked at me, he told me, I know I have no education. I know I was not at school, but I know there are stars all around the, the, the planet, so yeah, don't make jokes. Please, he, no, he, he was very really sad. And we, we had 10 minutes to explain to him, really, we, we can't see stars. So for them, it's really difficult to, to understand what is a guest. So from that point, he, he took the table a little bit more, you know, under stars. And, and that's the point. They, they, they don't understand immediately what can expect a guest. So we have to open their eyes. And our training is not... Uh, you know, to serve with hand like this. So I told to some of you uh, that was uh, uh, the, the way to serve when you were a slave. Your, your hand was attached. Uh, that's fantastic to, uh, in the Three Stars Michelin restaurant today to have just slaves around you serving you. Um, no, but that's the same. You know, you have now you, you must serve on right side and, and, and left side every time. Say, Left, right, right, left. In fact, if I, I try to explain them, if guests are talking like this, walk around and serve by the right. If that's the opposite, by the, what is important is the moment they have. Not, excuse me! And we, we, uh, we teach that. And, and when you think about it, it's stupid. So we... we, we um, put on the side everything like this, and we are, we are just trying to, uh, to work with them on just simplicity, um, uh, generosity, because that's something important, and, and, and freedom. Because well, we, we turned some videos with all of them uh, since we started this project, and the word uh, yeah, is coming frequently is freedom, because when you hire someone, you are him for a job. We are persons, and after that, we will see what they can do with us. And we try to, to, to find a multitask, you know, responsibilities, but um, that's important to, uh, to, to talk about freedom. Why? Because a friend of mine, for example, in a palace in Paris, we, uh, it was just open, they have to sign, if you want to work in that hotel, you have to sign uh, in your contract, you won't interact with guests. Or you're fine. Okay, fantastic. So, you can answer, of course. But you don't have to share anything personal with them. Anything. You, you do what you want, but uh, on my opinion, that's, that's a mistake, because for example, one day we had in Lensois a, a young woman um, 
She arrived at 7 a.m. Well, she had a full-time job with us. She was a mother of two kids, two young kids. She had to stop uh, to study because of the kids. And uh, she decided to try to be graduated. So uh, every evening she was uh, at school during the day with us. And I don't know when with her kids. And at 7 a.m. in the morning, she arrived with a big cake. I say, uh, yesterday we, we talked with guests about one cake I used to have when I was uh, young. And so I cook it. We could serve it. OK, no, no interaction. And you know what? These people uh, decided to come back, uh, to go back uh, by helicopter. And they had one more seat. And uh, they were a little bit in advance. And they proposed not to us to have a, a look around the park uh, from the helicopter. They asked her to go. And these kind of things are unbelievable. We, we worked with migrants in Italy. Uh, so we had 50% of the, the, the team uh, was from uh, uh, these African refugees and 50% from the, from the village. And you, you have to, to think about these migrants working for three years. That's the average when they are from Africa and they try to go to Europe. Uh, they, um, they become slaves on the road in Algeria, in Chad, in Libya. That's reality. Uh, you can see marks on, on, on their skin. And they, they, they see people die uh, you know, around them, their friends, because when you cross a desert, uh, you, you can be 100 at the beginning. At the end of this desert, you are only 65. OK, and all these guys, uh, the only one question at the end of the project was, uh, uh, do you think you will come back to meet us? Of course I will. <laughs> you know, we, we started to cry a lot. And uh, after Cambodia, I came back. And when I came back, all, uh, all of them decided to organize uh, a dinner and with a surprise for me. And, and they, they tried to explain their experience. And in that experience, they, they explained that, in fact, what we were uh, doing was just to create a family. And these people with hurt, um, if they feel comfortable to be as in a family, for sure your guests will be most, most more than just welcome. And that's what we, uh, we do um, every day. And, and you, you were talking about uh, guests who want to have sustainable, responsible uh, hotels, and, uh, and they don't want to spend any more money in the bad way. Uh, my members, because this hotel is a private club member around the world, um, my members asked me to create a foundation for them. Uh, it was not my idea. We, we just created the, the foundation, but be because of my members, they said, no, you can't leave them like this. I said, no, I, I don't leave them. Uh, I found some jobs for them, and, uh, and uh, look, the, uh, the place where we were in Italy, that becomes an hotel, so they, they, they keep the job. And after one month, all of them left. And I asked, why? Why did you leave? So, so, oh, you, you quit, but you have nothing. Yeah, but Thierry, they have to pay for breakfast. And when they ask for more orange juice, they have to pay again. It's not normal. So I, I understood that we are, we are doing so, you know, about freedom and something different. And after that, when they go back in a normal hotel, they are not happy. So with the foundation we create also, we will have some training, and also we will create a, a constellation of houses to have a permanent impact. Uh, and because just six months, it doesn't work. We want to, to stay with them. So we, we will go ahead in that direction, and, uh, and that's it. It's uh, as simple as this. Um, I could... I could give you plenty of examples of stupidity in, in hospitality and, and simplicity with them. But uh, for sure, uh, we should think about uh, generosity uh, because we forgot it. We forgot it. Remember, the visa card when you arrive, is that normal? Try to think about another industry doing the same thing. 
The most beautiful compliment I had since one year was not from um, a guest, and we received a lot, huh? they were very happy, but the most beautiful one was from one guy from the team, an Italian uh, guy, he, he was born in this village, he lived in this village, he never traveled, never. So he knows just this. And we were preparing a scenery, uh, a beautiful setup for a dinner, and he was looking at what we were doing, and he told me, I didn't know my land was so beautiful. So I think we can go in that direction all together. Uh, it will be much better than what we, uh, we have to, uh, to manage every day uh, uh, in our own business. So that's it. I think uh, uh, I told you uh, everything. Just uh, no, <laughs> Daniel knows <laughs> something else. Um, we are working in entertainment also. We, don't, uh, we, we, we must be focused also on it. Uh, set up scenarios. Uh, I was in a theater where. Uh, uh, by the past uh, in a company, and what we are doing must be beautiful, must um, be unforgettable, and if you add something as, you know, it's a show, it's a performance every day, uh, think about not just plastic or everything, but to make things beautiful. Because if you don't have any entertainment inside your, your business today, it doesn't work. Look. We are in a trade show. You uh, you work very hard, not me, but you work very hard all uh, all this week. And tonight, what are we going to do? Party. So thank you very much. <laughs>